Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. The scripture says, Come unto me, all ye that labor, and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Do you know that this is the reign of the Holy Spirit, which is built in love? This is the message that our Father has for the whole world. According to the scriptures in the book of Proverbs 29 verse 18, it says, Where there is no vision, the people perish, but he that keepeth the law, happy is he. This is a golden opportunity for all humankind to hearken to the clear and call of God, the call to repent. The entire world today is filled with sins. This explains why people are now tied both hands and legs in order to bring them all to submission. All over the whole world today you can see governments, business organizations, churches, institutions, and the entire world have become completely incapacitated. Instead of progress, it is retrogression as a result of disobedience unto God. Famine, diseases, wars, pestilence are now the order of the day, far beyond human comprehension. Nobody knows the solution to these problems. The answer is simple. Let all of us turn to God today on bended knees with penitent heart and receive his salvation, and all will be well. Many meetings and conferences are held daily all over the whole world, and many decisions are taken, yet there are no solutions. Many researches are carried out, treaties are signed, written, yet all these efforts are in vain. The only solution to man's problem is God himself who gives salvation and peace. And people are not aware that their sufferings, their predicaments, are clear indications that God is displeased with human activities. For man to experience peace and joy and prosperity, man must flee from evil and refrain from all manners of sins and embrace righteousness. Academicians of all sorts, technocrats and scientists, all of them are at their wit's end. The soothsayers, the astrologers, the seers cannot predict anything meaningful any longer. Industries all over the world are left and right folding up. What do you think is responsible for all of these? Calamities, earthquakes, hurricanes, wildfires, destructive winds, Floods, what do you think are responsible for all of this? These are clear indication that God's hand is in the affairs of humanity and is a manifestation of his anger and wrath upon the world. The only solution is for mankind to retrace our steps and return to the Creator. Whatever man is experiencing now, the Father says, is only a tip of the iceberg. In other words, this is called police action because the real calamity is yet to come. It is that time that the Father is calling all humankind to return back to Him so that He will give us rest. Peace can only come from God. Joy, good health only come from God. Let us not continually provoke God unto anger by sinning ever so much more. Let us repent, repent from sin and turn back unto God so that what we desire on earth we will find because the Father himself is upon the earth. And you can see all over the whole world the finger of Jehovah God is upon humanity. The word is enough for the wise. He that has ears to hear let him hear. May the Father bless the preachings of his holy words. Amen.
He that has ears to hear, let him hear. May God bless the preaching of his holy words. Amen.